Um, this video is sponsored by 3MAX Designs. I hope it's not just me, but the Baroth fight was super forgettable and just not very fun. It was super hard for a 3 star quest, and I don't know why, but it just looked so ugly. It's an ugly looking monster, the color palette doesn't fit it very well, and all of its attacks are just super annoying. I sort of refused to do Rathalos because I tried it maybe three times and I didn't kill it, and I just got so angry about it, so I don't know that much about its attack patterns or its design, but it's really annoying, and that one fireball move. The reason why I hate Rathian is simple. If you watched my last video, um, which you should totally go watch, it's almost at 100 views, which is insane to me. I don't like poison damage. I never have, I never will. So, I hate its tail, and I'm so glad whenever I chop it off. I'm sort of indifferent of the Arzuros fight at this point. It's a good entry-level fight and introduces the players to uh, all the new mechanics like Wyvern riding and for those who use more technical weapons like the Charger Blade and the Switch Axe, both of which I use and love. <laughs> um, uh, it lets them get a free roam of their weapons, but also giving them sort of a sense of danger, unlike the training area. I don't know if it's just because I'm... A really good charge blade user yes Alexander being confident in his abilities what but the fight seemed way too overhyped it was so easy for me and just not very fun I get why some other people enjoy it and the monster itself has an insanely cool design but it was just really lame for me for Mizutsune I don't really have a lot to say I don't remember anything about the fight it was it was just kind of there. It didn't have any fun mechanics to it. When you wyvern ride, it's not very fun. And I just didn't enjoy this fight. So I'm sorry, it gets an E. No one can convince me otherwise that Kuluyaku is just the punching bag for this game. I'm sorry, this thing is weaker than Arzuros, the Great Izuchi, and Great Bag Eye. This thing is so easy to hunt and kill. I cannot tell you how many times I have seen people online with Kuliyaku armor just because it's so easy to hunt. The Baroth fight was always a lot of fun. Whenever it launched you into the air, it just gave you sort of a refreshing feeling like, oh, now I'm in the air. And it gave you a second to sort of think out your next move. I always liked the jump scare when it will come out of that same tornado. So I'll give the Baroth fight a D. Basarios felt a lot like the Baroth fight, but this time it had fire breath and it looked like Groot. I don't know what it is about this fight, but I always enjoyed it for basically no reason at all. Probably because it looked like Groot and it breathed fire and it wasn't the Baroth fight. Spoilers ahead for the Demon Slayer movie. After seeing it, I can't not do this quest without using a long sword so I can feel like Tanjiro. Because whenever you are asleep, you have to have someone hit you um, <laughs> to wake you up, which is similar to what happened in the movie. So I really like this uh, hunt because I really like that movie and I can find a lot of uh, similarities between the two. The Kezu hunt was subpar for me at best. I didn't really care for it, but I really love the design of the monster and its behavior. Like it's this cave troll that uh, has lightning powers and can stretch. I just... I like the design of the monster, but I don't really care for the hunt, so that's why it's getting a D. I enjoy the monster, not the fight. Royal Ludroth just has, hands down, one of the coolest designs out of any of the monsters. I don't know why, but I always loved its main look, uh, like the spongy hide. I always liked how that looked, and I feel like if this thing was real in real life, 
it would probably be one of the most powerful monsters, just like animals on the planet. I don't remember the Anjanath hunt too well, but I do remember that I had a lot of fun with it. I like when it switched modes and its frills would go up and that thing on its head would like expand and it would breathe fire. I always enjoyed that part. The armor doesn't look too good, but most of the weapons I've seen look really good. So, I'll put it in C. I have a love-hate relationship with the Axonum hunt. I had a lot of trouble with it at first, but once I finally nailed it and got an Axonum uh, gun lance, I believe, that's when I started using the gun lance more often, uh, is when I started finding just how easy some hunts could be with the right weapon. The Great Izuchi fight would have been good as maybe a 4-star quest. Like, it looks intimidating enough to be a 4-star quest. So, it's a fun fight, but I feel like it's sort of underappreciated. I don't hear anyone in the multiple Monster Hunter discords I'm in ever talk about the fight. Which makes me kind of sad, because the Great Izuchi has a great design, uh, great behavior, and I really like it. I believe the Pookie Pookie fight is really good because it has a it has a good reason to have poison damage. But I like it because it's just like a massive frog bird. I like the design, I like the monster, I like the fight, and I like the reason why it has an annoying like mechanic. The reason why Roggy is in the true neutral is simply because I like the design of the monster and all of its armor. Why not be a monster hunting cowboy? The Bai Shatem was an incredible entrance to most, like, more difficult quests. It was just a lot of fun, and it's the one that I can replay the most because it has a cool design. I like how its, like, main fighting mechanic is it has a bunch of massive berries that has that have, bleh, different effects on the player, whether it be paralysis, poison, or knockback. So I really like this fight. I love how most of the six star story quests sort of give off these vibes like, oh, these are the most powerful monsters of their region. Like Diablos is the king of the sandy plains, Goss Harag is the, uh, like, the lord of ice, uh, Tigrex is just sort of this brute that appears anywhere, and Almadron is the king of the flooded forest since he's all muddy and everything. So I really like those vibes that the Goss Harag gives off. Like, it's this massive hulking beast that, like, nothing else that lives near it can take down. I really only like the Lagombi, not because its fight was fun or I like the design, but because it reminded me of one of my childhood pets. I mean, I'm still a child, but this was like a four-year-old Captain Chicken. Um, I, along with my older sister, had a pet rabbit named Nutmeg, and, uh, he died from, like, the heat, because we used to live in Las Vegas, but I moved, uh, so, it just brings back memories. It is a bat dragon. Really, hold on, think about that. Bat dragon. Almadron is super cool. It's this massive mud snake dragon that has the ability to create waves and massive pillars of mud and, cr and like grab this massive rock out of the ground. I loved this fight so much and I can't really explain why other than ooh mud dragon big strong. <laughs> so as a follow-up to the an idiot hunts monsters video. I wanted to create a genius hunts Magnum Mallo where like I would use just a billion smart plays to try to kill Magnum Mallow, but it never worked and so I deleted two hours of footage. But I respect that this is definitely one of the more difficult bosses in just most video games. It has been a while since I was genuinely scared by a video game villain and I'm glad that this brought me back to that feeling. You've probably noticed by now that uh, all monsters with some electricity power have been in somewhat high rankings. The Kezu, I had some nice things to say about it in D. Um, Tobai Kadachi is here because I love electricity as a mechanic in most video games. 
So yeah, I like Tobai Kadachi. Um, I like lightning powers, and it looks like a snake squirrel, so it gets an A in my book. The Volvodon is like the skate park of the Monster Hunter Rise roster. As I show in this uh, clip of footage, with the right weapon, it is so much fun to like just bounce off of it while just doing extra cool stunts. So I really love this fight for that fact alone. So I'm going to drag out this audio just so I can show this bit off because I was really proud of it. Uh, I got the vaccine earlier this week and, it, and right now I feel fine, but I feel like it's going to get worse. Somnicant is probably my favorite hunt in this entire game simply because it's annoying but in a fun way. It has all of these attacks that... Uh, either knock you back, or they make you fall asleep, or they paralyze you, or they do blast damage. It has the widest range of attacks, and it is so much fun to take down this mermaid beast. So, this thing is getting an S tier. You sort of have to respect and fear to train it on, but also kind of make fun of it at the same time. Like, it's this massive turtle lizard wrestler thing, but it also looks like it could be popped like a boba. <laughs> anyway, I really like this fight because a lot of great weapons come out of it. Uh, like my favorite charge axe, my favorite model was the one that I got from the Tetranodon. So this one gets an S tier. This thing is a wolf, which is already cool. It has lightning powers, which is even cooler. But it gets those lightning powers from bugs that it calls from just being cool. In the description that the thing said, it literally just calls the bugs by being like, hey, I'm scary, get over here and help me. How cool is that? Though there is one monster that I didn't mention, one that deserves an S+. Okay, this monster is so cool and so awesome and so terrifying and intimidating. This monster is the new skate design from 3Max Designs. Honestly, this shirt and many of its other designs, which I haven't even seen, but I just know they look comfy based off of this one shirt. I love the design and I don't even skate. Like I don't own a skateboard. The closest thing I, I own to a skateboard is this bike scooter, which I mean, Kind of polar opposites. If you want to get this shirt or any of the other designs, then you can check any of the links in the description to their, to the company's social medias and their own and their websites. This is what my dog thinks about them. Puppies, what do you think of my shirt? Shadow, does my shirt look good? See, he's looking at it. He likes it. Thank you so much to 3Max Designs for sponsoring this video. And honestly... This shirt looks awesome. Thank you. Now, I want to get a bit personal with you guys. Um, I'm sorry about the crappy upload schedule. I know that it's been pretty bad, but I'm trying to make it a bit better now that I'm on summer break. The thing is, I want these videos to be like extra high quality. That way they're more rewatchable. Because, first of all, if I'm being totally honest with you, I don't hate the watch time that I get. And second, I just like the idea of people appreciating my work, especially work that I'm passionate about. So I'm going to make these videos higher quality, even if that means they're going to have a really bad upload schedule. Believe me, this video took ages to get out. Basically, the second I was done with the last one in Idiot Hunts Monsters, I was right back at it working at this one. Between recording footage, recording voice lines, uh, script, and uh, talking points, like writing all of that, and then finally editing it all together to make it funny with that Tigrex bit and the Nargakuga bit, it took a while. So I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. I had to change to take pictures for the ad. But goodbye!